All right, so this particular story is about how Shadi's lawyer now doesn't want to be Shadi's lawyer. He told the he told the judge, gave the judge a letter or something like that. Shout out to uh Hip Hop Classics Daily Media. I believe that's where uh I got this story from. Um so real quick, at least that's the first person I heard say it. So real quick, yo look. So th this story has so many I told you souls in it that I've done that I don't even know where to begin. So Real quick, this is a real long intro, obviously, but real quick, I told you that Shadi couldn't get an appeal. I told you that Shadi's lawyer was gonna have to part ways with him. I told y'all this. This is that's just two I told you souls in this one story. At this point, I think that people need to start coming to me and asking for damn advice. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so... Yeah. So... Apparently, Jeffrey Lightman, Shadi's lawyer during the Treyway case, has petitioned the court, wrote the court a letter, let the court know that he is not going to be Shadi's lawyer during... Shadi's attempted appeals process. Okay, real quick for everybody to know. Okay, so there's this thing, right? And so when you make a deal, the judge is gonna ask you. The judge is gonna be like, yo, you know, once you plead guilty to this thing right here, you can't come. I don't even know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I don't think there's judges that sound like that. But anyway, once you plead guilty to this case right here, uh, we are not gonna be able to allow for you to appeal. And so, usually, <laughs> that's what happens when you plead guilty to a case. You're not allowed to appeal. You waive your right to appeal. Remember a while back when we found out that Shadi was going to be appealing the case? One of the main things, and I said, I said that I don't think Shadi can appeal the case. One of the main reasons why I kept saying Shadi can't appeal the case is because the, there's only one way that he would be able to appeal the case. And that's by saying that his lawyer didn't, you know, do the appropriate you know, his lawyer wasn't good, basically. You're like, yo, judge, we got to do this over. My lawyer, he's crap. Like, that, <laughs> this is how we could prove that he didn't do the things that he needed. Uh, Yada, yada, this and this and that. That's the only reason why I took the deal. My lawyer tricked me. He's terrible. So, basically, and remember, before anybody get confused, there was a YouTube content creator that was at the courthouse one day, said some sly stuff about me, and Andrew Lightman joined in on the sly stuff that he was saying. So, shout out to you, Andrew Lightman. No disrespect. But at the end of the day, I was right. You cannot appeal, and his even attempt to appeal is an insult to his lawyer. Now, real quick, for everybody that don't know, Shadi got 15 years, right? And Shadi did not initially, I believe, um, th th there wasn't really going to be an appeal or something like that at first. I don't know if that was always the plan. But Shadi, actually, the rumor of Shadi trying to get an appeal actually came out after everybody else started getting their time. When people started getting hit with their time and they started getting seven, eight years, under 10 years, I believe that's what made Shadi a little bit antsy. It would have made me antsy personally. So this is not a knock on Shadi. I'm not trying to talk trash about him. I'm just saying like personally me, I'm like, yo, I played out to 15 and all these other dudes that I personally know was probably way into the crap more than I was into the crap. They go home in seven, eight years. Nah, we got to appeal this homie. That might be, <laughs> I don't know if that's his perception. His perspective on this but that might be as far as i know anyway uh andrew lightman uh shoddy's lawyer or or previous lawyer or ex-lawyer I, I don't know what you call him at this time like do they have to share the kids anyway shoddy's lawyer um ex-lawyer or i don't know what you call him um basically he sent the letter to the judge and the letter that he sent to the judge he basically spoke he was like yo look he was basically defending himself not for nothing um 
Uh, I'll explain that and give me one second. But he basically sent the letter to the judge saying, look, Shadi did everything. He signed everything. He was competent. He was intellectual. He understood what was going on. He was in no way tricked. We did the best job that we can do. Um, there is no real reason for an appeal here. So therefore, we don't want to be his lawyer no more because... <laughs> I'm laughing because literally the only way that Shadi can appeal is by saying that his lawyer's crap. So the lawyer already sees that this he can't be the. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, I I, I I've, I've been kind of vague. Andrew Lightman and Shadi might not be on terrible terms. Just so we can be clear on this. Also, could I give a shout out to um? I should have did this already. Could I get a shout out to uh Hip Hop Classics Daily? That's where I got this from. Anyway, so uh Shadi. And his lawyer might not be on terrible terms, except for the fact that the only way that Shadi can actually go for an appeal is to say that his 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 attorney ain't crap, and you can't use the same attorney to do that. So, I believe <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure if anybody as a part of this community remember this. Then I say that there was gonna be. I think I said that there was. He was gonna have to say that his lawyer ain't crap. That he was gonna have to blame it on the lawyer. I believe that I told y'all this before. I'm like 100% certain, not for nothing. I told y'all that the only way that Shadi can go for an appeal is if he goes to the court and basically says that his counsel was crap. So, literally, um, his uh, Andrew Lightman needs to get off of the case, period. Because he's not going to go into the court himself and then be like, look, judge, I messed up. I don't think Andrew Lightman is going to do that. He's going to be like, look, man, we did the best job we could have did. They, nobody could have did a better job than this. Whatever, whatever, whatever. He's just not happy with the consequences. He's not happy with the with the way it turned out. That's it. So um, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Um, And also, oh, yeah, they, they didn't want to leave this out. This is the number one thing. Well, not the number one thing. I just like saying something's the number one something or other. But this is something that you really have to pay attention to. And this is uh, some. I, I believe I said this before. I'm not 100% sure if I said this before, but I'm saying it now. Remember, Shadi's lawyer initially was Takashi's lawyer. Remember? When Shadi couldn't get Takashi's lawyer to be his lawyer what he then did was he went and got El Chapo's lawyer which is Andrew Lightman now if Andrew Lightman is being the attorney for individuals like El Chapo forget Shadi for a minute no disrespect to Shadi but you know El Chapo's in another stratosphere if Andrew Lightman is an attorney for an individual like El Chapo. This is international stuff we're talking about right now. He has to part ways with Shadi and publicly. Because the only way Shadi can even foul for an appeal. Is saying that his lawyer didn't do his job appropriately. I wouldn't be surprised if Andrew Lightman at one point or another gets stopped by a TMZ or something. He can't talk about the case, obviously. That would be illegal. But he can say, look, we did the best job we did. We could. We crossed all our I's. Crossed all our I's. Dotted all our I's. Crossed all our T's. Uh, I can't talk on this matter. But look for him. There could be a good chance. That he's just going to come out at some point or somebody write a letter or something. Because that's what I believe that the letter to the judge was for. The letter to the judge was because, one, we know he has to write a letter to the judge to try to not be his lawyer no more. But also because they know that that was going to eventually, soon or later, be public knowledge. And we want to make sure that y'all know that we didn't do a bad job. I got way bigger contracts, <laughs> clients, pardon me, than shoddy. I don't want Shadi to mess up the next El Chapo. See, this is what happens. People think they can just... Every, people are always... And I'm not trying to even say Shadi is wrong for this. But once again, for everybody that forget what his charges were, Shadi got two charges. One was for gun possession. That was when they um, was on camera robbing uh, 
stealing some stuff from the um the this is 50 building from the individuals that they robbed in the lobby and the second charge was for discharging a firearm in public the absolute minimum for both of those gave him the 15 years I'm not even sure what Shotty is trying to do because you can't get under the mandatory minimum unless you get a 5K1 letter. Shotty is not talking on anybody as far as we know. Shotty has not, I'm saying that once again, because I had somebody I interviewed come on the program and say something contrary to this, and this was a big thing that has been on the channel before. But as far as we know right now, for certain, Shadi has not snitched on anyone. So he can't get a 5K1 letter. The only way to get less than your mandatory minimum is a 5K1 letter. So at this point, I don't know what Shadi is doing. I don't understand. Maybe he has some type of um, other counsel. That has come up with a ingenious way to get him out of this or to uh, get rid of some of those years. I don't know. But what I do know is this. Andrew Lightman is a very esteemed attorney. He's going to protect his image. So with that being said, if they really did split on bad terms. Look for Andrew Lightman to at least give one interview not talking about anything that he can't talk about obviously good but you know TMZ will run you down shout out to TMZ they do a lot of stuff I don't agree with but TMZ will run you down throw that camera in your face and ask you some damn questions shout out to them so I am definitely looking for at one point or another him getting cornered and him saying I can't talk on that type of stuff but him also saying our firm did the best job that any firm could have possibly have done with what we got because literally they did like comment subscribe join the notification gang hashtag Bronx Bombers let's get it I love y'all take care of each other Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.